today's class is medical negligence medical negligence is defined as professional negligence absence of reasonable care and skill or willful negligence of medical practitioner in the treatment of a patient which causes his bodily injury or death here absence of reasonable care and skill negligence is is carelessness or rash behavior or better explained as a medical negligence is a failure of a medical practitioner to provide proper care and attention and failure of exercise those skills which a prudent and qualified doctor would do under similar circumstances negligence is the breach of a legal duty to care it means carelessness in a service in which the law mandates carefulness of the patient breach of legal duty which initiates which may initiate a action against a legal suit against the doctor negligence can be better explained as a act of omission or act of commission omitting which is something which is mandatory for the health for the well being of the patient but commission is a doing something which is harmful to the health of the patient whatever the thing which is uh, harmful such things a prudent doctor should avoid if he neglecting such avoidance it amounts to commission or he is omitting some necessary things either it may be a suggestion or a medicine or a technique which is mandatory for the well being of the patient it amounts to act of omission so better explain as a commission and omission act by a medical professional which deviates from the acceptance accepted standards of the practice of the medical community which may lead into the damages so you better explain the medical negligence in the form of duty dereliction damage and direct causes duty legal duty dereliction is nothing but negligence damage is some side effects unwanted permanent side effects or injuries or death even may death it amounts to damage direct causes whatever the damage occurred to the patient it should be directly related to the negligent action of the doctor these four these are must to prove to prove a particular doctor is negligent missing of any d is not a complete proof against medical negligence what is duty when a legal duty will establish when the doctor accepts a particular person as his patient when a patient agrees or expressing his willingness towards the proposal of the doctor of either a particular technique or particular technique of diagnosis or lab test 
or treatment modality, whatever it may be. When the patient expresses his willingness for the proposed treatment, then the doctor-patient relationship is established. Then only a legal duty. For example, a doctor's consultation on phone uh, in a just colloquial manner is not a legal duty, legal relationship. He is not legally bound. Doctor is not legally bound. Doctor patient business contract or service contract will be established only in a systematic registered procedure. Then coming to the before seeing a particular doctor is a negligent, whatever the as you say routine duties of a doctor, a prudent doctor, a registered, qualified, whoever is practicing, what is the minimum basic duties of a doctor? Before talking about the care, reasonable care, first we will talk about what are the duties. Duty to take consent, duty to inform something, duty to explain to the patient about the procedure and all, duty to perform his duty or either counseling or uh, treatment in a proper way. Duty to perform his duty, not necessarily operation always, even giving instruction also is duty. Doctor should keep his secrets, secrets of the patient, he should not disclose to unrelated, unwanted un persons. Consent is a permission. Sometimes uh, informed con consent is required and uh, sometimes uh, explanation also required. What is dereliction? The second D is dereliction, this is negligence. It's a lack of reasonable care, lack of attention towards the patient's care, not listening his complaints, not listening properly his history, not listening his uh, uh, whatever the drugs he is taking, and deficiency in knowledge. Updated knowledge is necessary for a prudent doctor. Updated knowledge of updated techniques, contemporary methods of treatment, he should not follow the outdated techniques. He has to follow the updated uh, uh, methods of treatment or investigation so that he can make a better diagnosis or correct diagnosis and correct treatment in time. Absence of reasonable care absence of reasonable skill. He has to develop or trained enough to follow the contemporary skills, either in surgical practice or uh, investigation procedures or lab techniques, lab techniques or whatever it may be. Negligence, otherwise called ignoring the precautions what should he, what should he should follow before initiating a crucial treatment finally defective communication communication a better communication having a five elements number 1 active listening number 2 empathy number 3 straight speak number 4 emotional balance and five is non-verbal communication. Doctor should first listen to what the patient is saying so that he can better diagnose active listening of the patient. Then you have to better communicate him either by verbal and non-verbal commands after developing a sufficient empathy, this is the fundamentals of communication skills doctors must have. 
what are the examples of damages whatever even the doctor is negligent but the negligence of the doctor should lead some damages in patient the damage it may be loss of life that is death loss of sensation of a particular sense organ or a limb loss of organ or a functional element loss of function of a particular organ a loss of uh, earning capacity overall decreasing of his earning capacity is amounts to damages for example our right hand is a most um, important structure in earning capabilities any deformity permanent deformity in limbs may lead to a earning either sensory organs or in limbs may leads to a decrease in earning capabilities loss of potency may leads so many marital complications loss of joy in life paresthesias nerve sensations if they are affected we lose the joy in the life either side permanent side effects may cause loss of joy in life loss of health loss of health overall <coughs> medical negligence for example these are the examples loss of earning reduction in the expectation of life expectancy loss of limb or sense pain a chronic pain or suffering may cause a loss of joy in his life loss some distress may be a chronic distress loss of potency uh, even death some examples of act of omission failure failure to obtain informed consent failure to give proper post operative care failure to obtain consultation whenever it is necessary all other things are there just go through the slides act of commission same thing committing something which is not necessary unwanted which is harmful to the patient doing something which is which may harmful to the patient for example injection propofol it should be given under a hospital setup with precautions with monitoring of hypertension and blood pressure and other parameters simply giving propofol injection in home house setup it may leads to death classical example michael jackson's death wrong timing of the drug wrong administration wrong route some particular e- drugs should be given by intramuscular if you are giving such injections in intravenous route may cause death or side effects wrong medicine if your diagnosis is wrong the medicine may be wrong even then some diagnosis may be correct and even then the choose choice of drug may be wrong to the imp- inappropriate instruction for example all nsaid should be taken after food pantoprazole should be taken before food you have to follow if you are not giving such instructions or apodin instructions it may amounts to the act of commission giving inappropriate, inappropriate combinations of drug warfarin and ibuprofen these should not be combined together if you are giving you have to warn and tighten the doses and other investigations Ign- ignoring serious drug interactions for example uh, disulfiram along with metronidazole should not combine these drugs with alcohol wrong person prescribing ac inhibitors to the pregnant pregnancy is a contraindication for prescribing ac inhibitors so antihypertensive ac inhibitor should not be prescribed to the pregnancy 
common errors can lead to negligence just go through the picture then six common causes misdiagnosis delay in diagnosis fail to maintain updated standards of knowledge and care and skill birth injuries medical product liabilities quality equipment and then sixth one is surgical errors incorrect procedure unnecessary surgery damaging organs and nerves incorrect technique insufficient care of anesthesia and sterile surgical equipments leaving something in the abdomen inadequate post operative care all these are common errors of medical practice medical negligence then fourth one is the direct causation whatever the damage occurred to the patient it should be directly related to the negligent action of the patient direct causation doctor's negligent action and damage should be directly related no intervening new action for example a patient is attending a doctor but without the knowledge of the doctor if he is absconded from the bed and attending a folk remedy doctor folk remedies and taking some other medicine got serious reactions and he died who is responsible not the primary doctor primary doctor is innocent the patient himself attended to a folk remedy doctor and taken medicine without the knowledge of the first doctor because of uh, either um, anaphylactic reaction or some other reason the patient is died but the blame is goes to patient itself not the doctor whatever the damages occurring to the patient it should be directly related to the negligent action of the doctor medical negligence four d's in nutshell duty existence of duty is must legal duty existence of doctor patient relationship is must to establish doctor's negligence number 2 is dereliction that is not negligence number 3 is damage damage should be there by the negligent action of the doctor if there is no damage there is no question of negligence direct causation direct causation direct relation whatever doctor has given wrong medicine so anaphylactic reaction doctor has given wrong route of medicine so uh, anaphylactic reaction whatever the damage or side effect it should be directly related to the negligent action of the doctor types of the negligence it is civil negligence and criminal negligence civil negligence only because of demand of compensation or penalty in between two parties or between patient and doctor or patient's relation and doctor the civil suits are related to the money matters there are the characteristic features of civil negligence we have to go through the table we'll discuss in the next class thank you is civil negligence is criminal negligence just go through the table we'll discuss in the next class